welcome to this update. I hope you're doing really fantastic this morning. Now we're going to be talking about what is happening across the Atlantic Basin. There are four tropical waves that are moving through. So four marked tropical waves out there. The most recent one was identified uh, yesterday and I actually talked about it in my morning update. So I uh, talked about that blob, well, that convection which was coming off of Africa and mentioned the fact that it's likely to be the fourth tropical wave and just a couple hours later it was marked officially. So since then though we can see that a lot of the convection has dissipated in association with it. The, th uh, the third tropical wave is continuing to propagate toward the west, the second one of the season has made its way into the Southeast Caribbean and the first one of the season is crossing over to the Pacific. So it's moving through Central America and still helping to enhance the rain in parts of the Southeastern, Southwestern Caribbean rather. And there could be additional downpours and even flooding as we head throughout today. So as we zoom into the Caribbean here, we can see all of this cluster of showers and thunderstorms and those white dots you're seeing indicate lightning strikes. So there's a lot of thunderstorm in this area right now, even near the islands of San Andreas and Providencia. So this area is going to be active for a while. And with that as well, with all the moisture in parts of the southwestern Caribbean, we could see some of it getting pulled up to the north. And as a result, there could be a rainfall increase for parts of the northern Caribbean islands, such as Jamaica, Cuba, Hispaniola, even parts of uh, the southern Bahamas, Turks and Caicos islands. And that is even highlighted on the latest outlook map from the Climate Prediction Center. So for the week of June 5th, to June 11th, take a look at the green shade and we're seeing around. So that is as we're going to be heading into next week. And the darker the green shade is, the higher the chance of above average rain. So there's that chance of above average rainfall for Jamaica, Cuba, parts of the Bahamas, Turks and Caicos, and Hispaniola. Unfortunately, the Cayman Islands, well, uh, Grand Cayman is kind of out of that shade but hopefully there's a rainfall increase there as well. I've been seeing your comments about how hot and dry it is. So hopefully as some of the moisture gets pulled up to the north, which models are forecasting, we'll definitely see a substantial increase to help out with any drought conditions being experienced. But of course, with that, we know that there's going to be a chance of flooding happening somewhere. However, I'll be keeping it posted on that as time goes by. Looking elsewhere in the Caribbean, going to the southeast, uh, there is some activity coming in associated with the second tropical wave, as I mentioned. So there is that increase in rainfall for areas such as Trinidad, Tobago, Grenada, the Grenadines, St. Vincent, and even for Barbados at times, there's some showers moving by just as I expected yesterday. So I highlighted all that activity, which was making its way in and spoke about the fact that, hey, there's going to be some rain. And that is what we're seeing happening this morning, which is great because I have been seeing your complaints from especially Grenada of how hot and dry it has been. No significant rainfall. So hopefully you guys have received some decent rain. You can let me know in the comments. But elsewhere, there isn't much happening across the Caribbean at this time. All right. And so uh, speaking of Trinidad and Tobago, there was an unconfirmed earthquake. So many persons have reportedly felt the shaken over 100 reports actually but uh, it hasn't been officially confirmed by a seismic agency just yet so the magnitude the depth of the earthquake uh, is unknown as of right and now as of when i'm recording this video however if there are any updates in regards to it i'll be sure to let you guys know going on to the rainfall forecast for today so there could be some additional showers and thunderstorms around the north islands Jamaica, parts of Cuba, and especially in some spots in Hispaniola, Haiti, the Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, and the Virgin Islands as well. For parts of the Cayman Islands, especially for Little Cayman, Cayman Brac, things should be a bit on the drier side. Also for the Northern Bahamas, going over to Central America, for parts of the Yucatan, it will also be on the drier side. But again, there's that tropical wave moving through. So for parts of Southern Belize, Southern Guatemala, El Salvador, Honduras, Nicaragua, especially uh, there could be some heavy rain. We, see, uh, we saw all that thunderstorm activity in the area and we're seeing these 
colorful pink go into the uh, purplish shade and so that is the rainfall amounts probably three and a half to four inches so there could be a lot of flooding in parts of southeastern Nicaragua so please stay safe if you're uh, being affected by what is happening and do not take any unnecessary risks and also for San Andreas Providencia there could be some additional heavy rain similar story for parts of Costa Rica and Panama northern South America is going to remain active especially with the showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon hours and then as I mentioned to you uh, just now we've got that second tropical wave moving in and that is enhancing the rain for these southeastern islands but as we head further to the north a few showers could definitely be around saint lucia martinique dominica and guadalupe but the rainfall chance is a lot lower for anguilla saint martin saint Barthelme, antica barbuda montserrat saint kitts and nevis seba and saint eustatius and then a few showers may be close to the abc islands especially curacao and benair but Aruba is likely to be on the drier and hotter side as we're going to be heading through today. So that is what is to expect, guys. And again, we could see that rainfall increase happen for the North Caribbean. But I'm going to be keeping you guys posted on all that is happening. And this is a look at the surface chart to show the markings of all our tropical waves. Again, we've got one crossing into the Pacific, the second one of the season moving into the Caribbean. The third one still out there, the fourth one, which recently emerged. So... We're going to see this kind of activity every few days, a new tropical wave moving off of Africa. And eventually we'll be seeing tropical development, but for the short term, that is not expected. And so guys, that is basically what I wanted to share with you in this update video, and I really do hope you found it to be very informative. However, if you have any questions, do feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll respond when I get the chance to do so. And remember to always be weatherwise.